Good morning, my Scorpios. Happy water sign day on this Thursday. I know a little off this week, but hey, messages are coming in, so we'll 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 take it. I have tarot the mystical moments for the main deck here, um, and I have black and gold tarot for the clarifying deck. The links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. Ace of Wands and the Fool. The Fool is Aquarius. It's ready for a new beginnings. I don't care. I'm just. I just don't want the past. Is what it feels like. I'm. You're just ready to anything new. And Ace of Wands. One, it's a yes card. I just want to say that for somebody. Um, I, it's a yes. Somebody needs to hear it's a yes. I know that's strange. I just had to say that. But an Ace of Wands is a passionate new beginning. Something you're going to feel very connected to at a, at a very deep level. Something you're going to not even know you want until it's there. And look at that. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is Taurus. Below that, we have Justice Reverse Libra and a King of Cups Scorpio. And I feel like, you know what, you're no longer trying to get into somebody's energy. If they don't want you, you are not meant to be there. King of Pentacles, I feel like somebody wants you, somebody else though. This feels like a new energy, feeling on top of the world, a big investment. And I, I, I don't know, it's a really good energy, Scorpio. Really good energy. What is that, what is that Garth Brooks song? Um, Thank God for unanswered prayers. That's what it feels like because the, the real one is coming along here. All right, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Scorpio. If you are a Scorpio, know a Scorpio, feel like being a Scorpio. Scorpios, I'm glad you're here. You can be a Scorpio and this resonates. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. It could resonate as the main story and Scorpio could be the cross watcher. This reading could be about a Scorpio for a Scorpio. Take it as it resonates. Yeah, seven of wands, seven of wands. I see you seven of wands when I split the deck. I just feel like it's, it's, it's a card of I just feel like somebody's really about you. Somebody's giving you the attention. You know, there might be a time where Scorpio's got to chase, but I feel like somebody's chasing you these days. All right, general energy for the Scorpios. Collect the messages. General energy for the Scorpios. What is the general energy? The Hermit. Again, maybe you've been healing from something, Virgo energy, but as you have your back, putting your fishing pole in the waters, look what comes in. Not one ship, but two ships are coming in. Very reminiscent of a two of cups, but she has no idea. She has no idea. She's just in reflection mode over here. Feeling like, you know, um, thinking about what it is you want, what it, it makes you happy. And here are two ships come in behind you. What's influencing the hermit, Virgo energy? What's influencing the hermit? What's influencing the hermit? And the tower, two major, Scorpio. Some of you might still be wondering if, you might think you still want whatever it is that you've been holding on to. But I'm telling you, this is gonna get hard to hold on to the longer it goes on because you're the only one holding it. And I feel like that's why you're letting it go. But at the, at the, at the epitome of a tower means a sudden change. It's just the picture on it has a different feeling. But if you don't look at the picture, a tower is a change happening, but it's sudden, it's powerful, and it's everlasting. And it's all within this period of reflection and pulling yourself back and putting that energy back into you. I feel something's gonna come into your life to kind of shake things up. All right, what is the reason for the reading? What is the reason for the reading for the Scorpios? What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading? Okay, we got a flipper. What is it? Look at the Five of Cups and the King of Wands. I, the Five of Cups was there too. There you are in a King of Cups reverse. There you are. But I really feel reason for the reading is, remember our King of Pentacles? Here's our King of Wands. I feel like here's the Ace of Wands I was feeling. Somebody is ready to shake up your world. What is the past? What is the past for the Scorpios? The Hierophant. Three, this whole thing is majors on this line. What is on Scorpio's mind? What is on the Scorpio's mind? What is on Scorpio's mind? The Seven of Wands reverse, I've, a pullback, a pullback. On your mind is that, remember the Hermit? I do, I felt that. I don't think you're pursuing anyone. I think you're just trying to pursue you, find you. This king finds you. What's in the near future? What's in the near future for the Scorpios? 
what's in the near future for the Scorpios? The Temperance Reverse, Sagittarius. Let me have one more. I got, um, on that, hold on. What's, what's in the near future for the Scorpio? What's in the near future? I, I, this whole thing is major, so I wouldn't be surprised one more. It's, even that is a major, finishing on a different deck. Near future. Majors in tarot talk about things out of your control, but these are life-changing events. The whole line from your past, your present, to your future is going to be life-changing. You're in the midst of change. You're in your cocoon right now, ready to break out and be the bu beautiful butterfly you are. What's in the near future for Scorpio? What's in the near future for Scorpio? Temperance Reverse tells me it doesn't feel good. Maybe you're worried that you missed out on something. Ten of Cups, as I say that. You have happiness coming in, Scorpio. All right, Ten of Cups is happiness. All watery and all its goodness. Tell me about the Hermit. Why the Hermit in the center of the reading? Why the Hermit here for Scorpio? Why the Hermit? Okay, thank you. Tower reverse and the three of swords reverse. Tower reverse is you, but it's an it could be an old tower that happened. Um, it could be you avoiding something. You have three of swords reverse, a Libra. And but that's not what fell out. It fell out in between. Yeah, nine of swords reverse. I feel like you're trying to find your own peace. Nine of Swords reverse is Gemini energy, and it's just a very I'm not letting it worry me anymore. I'm not letting it. If they don't want me, I'm not holding on to someone who doesn't want me. Tell me about the tower. And the five of swords reverse. Again, card of peace. Mental peace. I want to say that. Mental peace. About whatever was plaguing you. Why the five of swords reverse? I feel like this is also what's leveling. Is Yep, the magician reverse. I feel like somebody would have manipulated you, used you for their own. It's when they could squeeze you in their life, they did. And I think you're just done with that. I think you're done being a placemat, placeholder for someone else. What's the King of Wands reason for the reading? King of Wands, Leo energy reason for the reading. It's interesting enough. Yep, Six of Swords, another king. And remember, we I saw King of Pentacles. There's the King of Wands, and there's the King of Swords. We haven't. You have an Emperor coming in, no doubt. On your mind is a Leo. Reason for the reading is a Leo. But on your mind is I feel more that is a Seven of Wands reverse is is pushing people out. Like it could just. It may not be everybody, but maybe it's one fact faction of your life. With a Temperance reverse here, it does tell me that you are a lot in one energy and none in another. So you might be with friends, but not really looking for love, or you might be all work and no play. Whatever that is, there's an imbalance and an energy. But I, I do get a little bit of you wondering, did I miss out, you know? Did I do something? There's a lot of internal stuff when love comes in. It's, it's no, it's, it's not that God didn't like you. It's not that the universe thinks you need more lessons than others. I do feel like Scorpios hold on, very Virgo-like, but you hold on to something that you don't necessarily need to hold on to anymore. Um, and I feel like you're finally letting the claws go, letting opening your grip, so letting this fall away. And really, what is ready to come in is the one that is meant for you. The Ten of Cups here. All right, Hierophant in the past. Another key. There's our King of Pentacles. Hierophant in the past. And the Three of Cups. Again, I do feel you guys were in a connection where it's friends with benefits, possibly. It's for a good time. You wanted it something else. And they're just like trying to keep it at a different level. Nine of Pentacles. It was moving so slow. But they're upright. They are upright. So I don't feel like this, except for that Magician Reverse. I'm not a fan of that right next to it. Magician Reverse, is a, a, it could be a, a manipulating energy, but I feel like whoever you are dealing with, they respect you. They like you. When they're with you, they like being with you, but it's when they're not with you, you know? Sorry, I couldn't move this down. It's, it's like when they're not, not with you, they're not really thinking of you either. And you don't want that, King of Cups. See our King of Cups here? Ooh, and there you are. Death card. That's some David Copperfield bullshit in the chariot. There's your true pair right here. Queen of Cups. 
but you got to get on that chariot. Got to get on that Uber. Time to move away from this. Seven of Wands reverse on your mind. Seven of Wands reverse on, I want to say Leo's mind because there's so much Leo here on Scorpio. Seven of Wands reverse and a Three of Swords. I do, don't kill the messenger, but some of you are still holding a place that this person is going to come in and save you. A magician reverse is them making up their mind saying it's it's not going to work. I'm not even that good of a magician to make this work. I'm just at the end of the day, it was good when it was when it was there, but I'm moving on. That's what I feel. But that seven of wands reverse and the three of swords upright feels like it's it's holding yourself back. And three of swords is a Libra in energy. Why the three of swords? Yep, and the queen of cups reverse. Cancer energy. Somebody has it to give and they're not giving it, which is causing somebody else sadness. You are king of cups. This is a queen. It's a queen of swords and a queen of cups going on up here. I feel like they're, this is an energy that's not going to know how right you were for them until you are long gone. The thing is, is I don't feel like a Scorpio that I'm reading for is technically energetically gone, even if physically this is no longer in, on, in the playbooks, you know? So they feel that energy they don't need to miss you right now because they feel you as a possibility that if if and when i get a chance i'm going to come back to scorpio because man we had a good time scorpio you deserve more than being somebody else's good time okay you deserve to be somebody's partner in life temperance reverse in the near future sagittarius what's the temperance reverse temperance reverse and the seven of swords i'm I'm telling you, ugh, this energy is going to try to sneak back in for a little quickie quickie. Don't give up a, a lifetime of happiness for like an hour's worth of like of dreams, okay? So why does Seven of Swords and the Temperance reverse in the near future? Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords and a Seven of Swords. So I do feel that Seven of Swords is a sneaky ass energy, especially again, if you look at this way with the Magician Reverse or this way with the Magician Reverse, it's sneaky and it's selfish. And somebody is selfishly putting you in a world of pain or in a painful situation for a little bit of gain for them. It's, don't, it's not worth it. Ten of Swords is saying you're done. Gemini energy, you're done, you're done. Oh, look at these tens. Now we have a Ten of Cups upright. Going from a Ten of Swords to a Ten of Cups. Tell me about this Ten of Cups. Because I feel like it's related to this King of Wands. Tell me about the Ten of Cups in the near future. Ten of Cups, Pisces, energy in the near future. King of Wands, reverse. See, when I pull these cards, I swear it's not where I expected it to go. King of Wands, reverse. And the Two of Wands. Who is waiting? <sighs> Somebody's waiting. Somebody's holding the world. Two, twos and Tarot talk about it just waiting. He holds a page of wands in one hand, but nobody's holding this other. So I feel like he's alone waiting, to be honest. But he's holding the world. He's ready to move on, but yet he's waiting for somebody else to grab this, pay, uh, this wand and go with them. He's by himself waiting on a King of Wands reverse. Goes back to that Magician reverse energy. I'm telling you, I just feel like I need to say this to a Scorpio. Don't throw away an upright King for a King reverse, okay? I I don't feel like this person is a, is a villain here going on, but they're just so, very self-focused. It's about them. You're just, you, you deserve more than what this person ever could give you. And I feel like you're gonna have a choice is what's here with the twos. You're gonna have a choice between a king of wands holding a, a wand or somebody who's not holding a wand, which is a bit of a king of wands reverse. So that's what I kind of feel. You have a choice between a king upright, somebody who's ready for this, and somebody who's nowhere around. But they're gonna be, come back. They're gonna come back and play with your mind for a bit. And Wheel of Fortune reverse and the Eight of Cups, I feel like you might be conflicted, but in the end, I think you're gonna finally walk away and want to rebuild somewhere else. 
And guess what? You're going to be the energy to get away from this person and they're going to regret it for the rest of their life. And we call that a karmic lesson. You are going to be their karmic lesson, but they don't need to be yours. Okay. You have true happiness here. Just, you know, leave this person, let somebody else, you know, entertain them for a while. You deserve real love going on over here, Scorpio. And it's, it's here. Reason for the reading is a king upright. Somebody willing to do this now. He's holding the wand. He's holding the world. He said, let's go. And I have a feeling on Scorpio's mind being a seven of wands reverse, a pullback energy because of a three of swords and a queen of cups reverse, a Libra and a cancer, hoping just by somehow this person's going to transform into the person you need them to be. It's not happening. That is not this story. So don't leave this person waiting for somebody who's not take, taking the time to show up for you. You know, it's, it's, it's definitely a third energy kind of reading, but it's past and future, a choice between two. So yeah, um, I would just leave this player to play with themselves over here in a four of cups. You got bigger fish to, I see bigger fish and look at the fish on the 10 of cups. You do, you have bigger fish and more prettier fish to play with over here. All right, guys, have a great rest of your week and I'll see you guys later. Take care.